My sour cream pie recipe is easy and delicious. With just a few ingredients and a few minutes, you can make an amazing old fashioned custard pie with a great contrast between sweetness and tanginess. Let's go over the ingredients. To make the filling, you will need one and a half cups or 12 ounces of full fat sour cream, 340 grams, three fourths cup white sugar, as I measure 160 grams. I may add a little more, we'll see. One teaspoon of vanilla extract, an eighth of a teaspoon of salt, and two large eggs. And then the filling I'm going to pour into a nine inch pie crust. You can use store bought, but I am using homemade. And this crust is totally raw, it is not baked. Like I said, the sour cream pie recipe is really easy. All we have to do is mix these ingredients together to make the filling, pour them into the unbaked pie shell, put that into the oven, and then let it bake. The one thing to keep in mind is that you want to add the eggs last so that you can adjust the filling if needed. So I'm just gonna start by adding the sour cream to the bowl. The sour cream and eggs were left on the stove as the oven preheated, so they are room temperature. You could use maybe reduced fat sour cream, but I think that full fat is best for this. I definitely would not use fat free. I don't think it would work out. Now I'm just going to mix these ingredients together and then I'm going to taste it and see if it needs more sugar, more vanilla, anything like that. I mix in the sugar, I tried the filling and it's good. A lot of people would be okay with it but I think it needs a little more sweetness. So I'm going to add two tablespoons of sugar, 30 grams, for a total of three fourths cup plus two tablespoons of white sugar, a total as I measure of 190 grams. I tried the filling again and I think it's just right. It's perfect. So now I'm going to add in my two eggs and beat them in. Like I said, add the eggs last so that you can adjust the filling if you want. Now that the filling is ready, all I have to do is pour it into the unbaked pie shell. And once the filling is in the pie shell, I'm going to make sure it's distributed evenly. And then I am going to put this pie into the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit, uncovered. I'll let you know for how long. And as you can see, I put the pie on a pizza pan. You can use a pizza pan, a cookie sheet, just something. It's going to make it a lot easier to take it in and out of the oven. I just pulled my sour cream pie out of the oven. It was in at 350 degrees Fahrenheit, uncovered for 50 minutes. 5-0. I'm sure you can see that the filling really puffed up in the oven. It's starting to sink back down now and as it cools it's going to sink down more but just so you know when it first comes out of the oven let's see if I can show it's going to be puffed up in the middle I'm not quite sure why but for some reason in these photos the filling looks a lot more yellow than it really was as you'll see in the video clips coming up the color was actually more of a pale yellow Whatever the color, it definitely looked delicious with the golden brown crust and the smooth filling, so I was definitely ready to give it a try. And when I did, I knew that my old-fashioned sour cream pie recipe was a big success because it was absolutely delicious. Although this pie was hard to describe, it was very similar to buttermilk pie. The flavor was sweet, but not too sweet, and with a soft tartness in the background. Honestly, I was expecting this pie to have more tartness to it, but I guess that the eggs and sugar 
help to soften the sourness in the background. Once again, very similar to the buttermilk pie that I made here on my channel, the filling was soft and moist and the crust was crispy and crunchy. So like I already said, I feel like this sour cream pie was very, very similar to a southern style buttermilk pie in taste, texture, and appearance. And honestly, I bet that if you served a slice of each to someone, that person would probably tell you that these pies are almost the same. Like I already said, I thought this pie had a good amount of sweetness without being overly sweet. And even though I did add the two extra tablespoons of sugar, I think you could probably get away with just three quarters of a cup, but I would encourage you to add those extra two tablespoons because I think that off measurement is just the right amount of sweetness. And now that I'm holding a slice up to the camera, you can see what I mean about the color. It was a very light yellow. And next to that golden brown crust, I thought this dessert had a nice old-fashioned look. Although this old-fashioned sour cream pie recipe was definitely a success because it tasted good, I'm going to be honest, I think that the lemon sour cream pie recipe that I made here on my channel a little while ago was better. Don't get me wrong, this sour cream pie was good, but I didn't think it was the most flavorful pie I've ever made. And honestly, I thought the same about buttermilk pie. Some people absolutely love buttermilk pie. And I think some people will really like this if they like tangy things. And I normally like tangy things like lemon desserts. But honestly, like I said, this, in my opinion, was good, but it was not the most flavorful thing that I've ever had. If you want something more flavorful, I think that the lemon sour cream pie recipe here on my channel would probably be what you're looking for. Or you could do what a lot of southern style egg custard pie recipes call for and even some buttermilk pie recipes if I remember correctly. Maybe a little bit of nutmeg or a little bit of cinnamon. That would probably add more flavor. You could also try a graham cracker crust and sprinkle a little bit of cinnamon on the bottom of the crust before you pour in the filling. You could do that. Those critiques aside, I still think that the sour cream pie recipe was a success. It had an old fashioned Southern look and flavor, very similar to buttermilk pie. And considering that some people absolutely love buttermilk pie, I think some people will love this. This pie is also super easy to make, doesn't have a lot of ingredients, and it's not super sweet or heavy. So I think it would be a good light dessert after Thanksgiving, Christmas, or some other holiday meal when you want a decent dessert, but you don't want something that's too hard to make and you don't want something that will be heavy on your stomach. So if you make this recipe, let me know what you think in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching. See you next time.